Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a, a, a cap, but listings are a function of people's appetite and understanding of the ecosystem and the environment in which they're going to list. And so if that environment is stormy or low growth, it's often an, uh, an early indicator that people will be a little bit more cautious about coming to list. But if you take for a moment uh, a look at our listings last year, we had some really enormous listings. We had AB InBev, we had Hammerson, one of the world's largest property companies list here. I think that's really good for the market. Um, we've got some nice listings in the pipeline this year. Let's see if they actually come. Um, I really, we're doing what we can to encourage them. If you take a, a, a look at the delistings, 25 delistings, about half of them were companies that didn't meet our requirements, but the other half were really corporate actions that fed into various different other listings, the likes of SA breweries uh, rolling into AB InBev or the collapse of the Pickwick pyramid structure on, on, on pick and pay. So, so quite normal corporate actions. It's not quite uh, a, the dire position that you might think 25 listings is a technical uh, term of delisting. Now, it, uh, it, the environment is an important uh, uh, part of what makes people either list or trade. If people feel uh, a little bit uncertain, they're more likely to sort of stand back. Uh, in this country, when we have such large international participation, it's not actually ironically only the South African environment, it's also the international environment. So they compare us as South Africa to uh, India, Brazil, Kazakhstan, the US or the EU as an example. And if those markets look more attractive as a risk return um, uh, scenario, then they will go there. We work very hard to position SA Inc firstly, and then the JSE from a point of quality, quality of regulation, quality of system, certainty of settlement uh, to the international investors. You, you, once, you, once one appreciates that they have real choice, which they exercise at the click of a button, you have to work exceptionally hard uh, to continue to reinforce the strength of what we do. Yeah, so ITAC is our major piece of technology investment that we've been working on for the last three years. Uh, what we've seen in the equities market is when we upgrade our equity trading engine every uh, over the years, we suddenly see a spike in trading. And we fully expect to see that type of uh, activity increase with ITAC because it's going to be the trading system, the upgraded trading system for derivatives um, across our derivative suite. They will be on the same trading engine as equities, meaning our clients will be able to do the same type of stuff as fast, as robustly as they do in the equities market. So we think that that's going to add value, add volume, and then really improve the quality of the order book, which in itself is good. We think that we think it is stormy internationally. We think it's stormy in South Africa, noisy in South Africa. We think the the uh, the noise, the rhetoric in this country is going to continue uh, in the run-up to the ANC leadership e e elections. That's that's uh, uh, unfortunate because. We really do need to create a clear policy direction that positions SA Inc. as a competitive space to do business and to, in to, to invest. But so from the JSC, that's the background. Um, that makes it a relatively tricky world to, to migrate, but we're quite comfortable migrating um, uh, that side, you know, working in that type of in environment. And so we're looking forward to the year.